four in the afternoon and then the next one can be more challenging. Uh, okay, uh, we're going to hear from one more MSA candidate. Are you ready? Adam Golding. He was born in Toronto, raised in Barrie, Ontario, and has lived in University of Rosedale for 20 years, where he is currently the MSA candidate in Ward 11. Adam teaches piano from his home in Kensington Market. You may have seen his posters for anarchist piano lessons. That's unforgettable, really. What a fabulous poster. At U of Toronto, he studied philosophy, mathematics, cognitive science, and artificial intelligence, linguistics psychology and computer science and got heavily involved in student politics. I want to know what you did in your spare time. <laughs> Adam focused on municipal politics when Mayor John Tory sued Khalil Sevright for evicting tiny shelters to save lives amid a state of emergency that Tory himself declared. Yay! <laughs> Adam attended mass evictions and police violence at encampments last summer where he, where he was physically harmed and arrested along with dozens of others, as you've heard. That's when TORCH, the Toronto Coalition for Housing, was formed. Following these events, Adam Golding worked on voter ID and fundraising for NDP campaigns and joined the Socialist Alliance launched by leftists who are fed up with the status quo and fed up with the status quo opposition to the status quo. <laughs> So uh, let's make some noise for Adam Golding. All right, thank you folks, thank you Barry. It really is an amazing pleasure to be here today even though we're dealing with such a horrific situation in this city. I'm going to tell you a story, Barry already told you some of it, and then I'm going to tell you the name of the game. And so I want you all to guess what the name of the game is while I tell you this story. As Barry mentioned, I grew up in Barrie. We had a tent city there, but it was nothing like in Toronto, the epicenter of the housing crisis. And that is what it will remain if we don't do anything about it. And it was already mentioned that I was arrested during the formation of TORCH, the Toronto Coalition of Housing. I was going to say after Isabella spoke, I'm not usually in a press conference, but when I am, Isabella is there. You can see the first press conference that we put on as part of TORCH outside Mayor Tory's condo at torch.help online. Look it up. Isabella speaks quite powerfully in that segment as well. And, you know, we had to form that group because the cops forced us to. They arrested, charged, ticketed, and uh, harmed dozens, 50 people easily. Probably 100 people, not to mention all the people they were evicting. Okay, so how do we get into this mess? Because it's a real fucked up situation. And we can't just take a status quo approach to it. So look, as Barry mentioned, I studied a bunch of stuff and was studying politics as well. And then Donald Trump got elected and I was like, holy fuck, I have to pay attention. I quadrupled my time I, I quadrupled my time spent studying politics and the political spectrum that I was consuming because the New York Times gave Hillary Clinton a ninety eight percent chance of victory. So well the information age has already been followed by the disinformation age. That is what we are living in right now. And I forgot my sign that says uh, city deception is underway, which also looks like that one. Okay, so, so, so I, we knew things were going bad. And then, as Barry mentioned, well, there was COVID and a state of emergency that Tory declared. And Khalil Samwright, saint that he is, took the skills that he had to save lives. Yeah, he did. To save lives yeah. during a pandemic during the only state of emergency in Toronto's fucking history. And you might think, you might think that John Tory would be grateful for the help, right? Wouldn't that make fucking sense if you said, hey, you're trying to save people's fucking lives. Thank you, sir. But no, he said, you're the fucking lawyer. Stop it. Don't try to save anybody's lives. It's just a state of emergency for show. He doesn't want help with the emergency. He'll sue you if you try to help. And that's fucked up. That's not just bad governing, that's bad parenting, and it's just being a bad person. And I couldn't fucking understand it, but I understand it now. And you know what it is? The insurance companies rule this fucking planet. Do you understand? Why would he do that? Why would he sue a hero? If you're in office and you want to get reelected, you don't sue heroes. And he's not a fucking idiot. So who did it? Well, it was Wendy Wahlberg and Jim Jessup in City Hall who signed the document to go after Khalil. A lawyer and a fireman. So what the fuck is that? Well, guess what? Their insurance premiums go up if there's a fire. But they don't care if you die, because if you die on the street, it's free. It doesn't cost anything to die in the polls. The Carter General is not counting the numbers. 
They had to put in a fucking article saying, hey, maybe we should count how many people die in the cold. Well, they're still dying in the cold, and they arrested everyone who tried to help. They attacked them. In fact, we had a vote. We had a unanimous vote at city council on a human rights approach to encampments, and we turned around and did the complete opposite, which is a complete breakdown of municipal democracy, mass police violence, and there was a motion, thank God, from Layton and Matt Lau to have a judicial inquiry into the cops. And guess what? Of the people running for re-election as if they did a good job, only three of them thought a judge should look into that. So what does that tell you? Well, after Ford cut council in half, the only way to have police accountability in the city and to cut the cops in half is to clear house at council. Yeah. There are three close to zero people who deserve to be re-elected, and I'm running for University of Rosedale because Mike Layton needs to get off his fucking ass and hashtag Egypt John Tory. Now I'll see you tonight at 8 p.m. in Little Italy, where I organize an event every week, which brings me to the second part of my little rant here, which is the name of the game. Can anyone guess what it is? Capitalism! No, that's the problem. You named the problem. What is the game? That's, you're talking strategy, what is the tactic? Well, as Barry also mentioned, I worked for the Andy Horvath campaign and the Jack Mead Singh campaign, and our turnout was lousy. And our turnout will be worse unless we do something about it in October. But because turnout is even lower for municipal elections, the name of the game is turnout. So I thank you all for turning out today, and I hope you will turn out tonight in Little Italy at 669 College, where I organize a musical and implicitly political event every week, and this is what everyone needs to do. Every person alive has to become an organizer. Organize events, organize rallies, organize protests, organize parties, Organize your families and organize your enemies if you can. It's a pleasure to see you all. Look up adamgolding.ca. There you go. Oh, yeah. Well, there, that's the follow, I guess. Okay, so, uh,